Hey guys, welcome to the Swingdom. This is uh, another Foxy Friday lesson. We're gonna get this one out on Friday. That's um, the idea, that's why it's Foxy. The idea, that's, yeah, it's a Foxy <laughs> Friday lesson. You're watching the Swingdom. Last week we did a playing lesson which was a lot of fun, but I learned a lot about my ball position and alignment, which I wasn't... <laughs> Au fait uh, with, were you? Yeah, I was not, yeah, I was... Ooh. I didn't trust it. I think that's probably the best way of phrasing it. Absolutely. I didn't trust my own alignment. So, this week we're gonna work on alignment. Um, Foxy has... Planks of wood. Yes, recl somebody's reclaimed barn. Yeah, but you got the professional sticks. I've got Colin Montgomery. You know they're good because his face is on it. Ooh. Is he smiling? Yeah, it's really creepy. And it's like a black <laughs> and white photo. I'll move my planks of wood then. Yeah, so I've got, I've got, it came with two normal size alignment sticks, and then it came with one small alignment stick, and it came with two of these things that it's like 14 quid, so it's probably cheaper than your reclaimed barn wood. Good wood. Yeah. Hmm. And then it all snaps together like this. And there you go. You Job can... done. Slide it, move it. Yeah. Move it, slide it. It's got the old uh, Scottish. Uh... It's got tartan. That's the word. Yeah. Hmm. It's got somebody's kilt on. <laughs> no, no. So good, what good. clubs are we going to work with today? Well, I think. Uh, any club will do, but um, okay. it's really a case of finding out the understanding of how we line ourselves properly. Yeah, for sure. I think more than anything. Yeah. Because um, there's going to be a few things I want you to look at and how the club is presented at address yeah. and how you might perceive it straight and how yeah. other people might perceive it straight yeah. and how we look down upon it. No, no, because okay. the hardest thing is basically is you, you stand behind the golf ball you look out, you decide your line, you may follow that all the way back to where your golf ball is. Mm -hmm. And then once you've turned what you think is 90 degrees, it could be 95 or 85. And and then your hands and your club face could be doing something entirely different. So as much as we worked on our pre-shot routine, ball setup, alignment, sorry, ball position and alignment, massive part of that. Oh, hugely. Yeah. Yeah, because as we said earlier on, when Folder mentioned about that. I mean, yeah. You know, you could be the best ball striker in the world, but if you're poor alignment, yeah. it's going to be way out, isn't it? It goes wherever it wants to. Absolutely. So you have a seven iron? So, yes, I have. And I'm there is a reason behind iron. why I had these uh, sticks out anyway, which is, uh, I'm going to show you, because it's got a nice square edge on it. Yes. So we talked about um, how we do the pre-shot routine, didn't we? Yeah. On the playing lesson. Yeah. Okay. You make sure that you stand behind the golf ball. Yeah. Bring our target to the golf ball. Okay. Yes. And you try to find something about a grip length in front of the golf ball. Okay. If we can. So I am basically aiming at the red marker up through the target line and I'm looking at that tuft of grass there. Which means, okay, yeah. when we get that club face in, we just make sure that we get your leading edge mm -hmm. at 90 degrees to your target. Okay. Yeah. This is where the optical illusion is presented when people look down upon the golf ball. Yeah. All right. So if you come down over here, gentlemen, if my club face is going through my target line here, okay, like so, all right, the bottom edge must be at 90 degrees to my target. So I'll get these nice and square to it. Sorry, not very professional there. Okay. So I have a quick question before yep. we get too in depth with this, and I apologize for interrupting you. So when I look down at the club, is this, is there's always a white when Cobras there's a white line. Absolutely. I think Taylor made they make the bottom line white. Yep. Some is, are silver. Is, some are pink. Is that your leading edge? Correct. Okay. Because that should be parallel to it, and this is yeah. exactly where we're going to get because that will give you the obvious point. Because okay? that's sort of where I'm at. It's sort of like I look at it, but then I know the bottom of the club is round. Yeah. So I look at the line and then I'm sort of like, well, is the line straight or is the curve straight? What's Correct. Know? All right. So if you come back to the position as where you were, all right. So if my golf ball is on that target line like so, 
I'm just going to move the golf ball away because now I'm going to come in, right? Yeah. I'm going to place the club face now at 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. So if you come in over the top of the club head, if we can. All right. So when you can see that the club head here, all right, is at 90 degrees. Can you see that? Yeah. All right. With that in mind, from here to here is quite shallow. From here to here is quite deep. All right. Yeah. Which means then that this angle here looks like it's pointing to the right. Can you see that? Mm hmm So your top edge is a bit of an optical illusion. Yeah, for so, sure. So if you're coming over the top of that, look, come have a look. Okay, can you see that? Yeah. So that top edge, if I get that square to the front edge there, mm -hmm. it looks like that club's going right. So what people will then do is they'll twist the top edge to get that square to where they think is this, but now mm -hmm. look what happens to the bottom edge. Yeah, I'll say that's the top edge being square for yeah. me. So look down there, that's nowhere yeah. near square, is it? No. So people try to twist the club in because they're looking at this. So if I put my finger over the top of it, mm -hmm. you ignore that top edge, you can now see the bottom edge is square. Yeah. So that is my target line, which I've chosen. You can now see that that is square to that part, not this part here. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we've got to ignore that top part when we're aligning ourselves. Okay. That's really important. Yeah. Because um, a lot of people do square the top edge from it. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be a little bit open to most people when they when they approach that. All right. So once that is in place, and we have the neutral grip, mm -hmm. that ball call should go down towards our target line, shouldn't it? Yeah. And if we are lined up towards our target line, and we hit the shape shot, uh, the, the shape shot that you see, whether it be a cut or a draw or a high or a low shot, wherever yeah. it may be, we can then at least we know we got a swing fault. Yes. Because the club face is neutral. Yeah. The grip is neutral. Yeah, Sometimes, and then all we're trying yeah. to do then is swing it, aren't we? Yes. All right. So, if I now set myself up to hit that shot. Yeah, okay. I'm going to do a bit of stretching while you set up for these shots. Sounds good to me. <laughs> all right. Not the best line in the world. So I'm going to line myself up to the red marker. Okay. Pick my spot. Club face nice and square to my target line. Hit through the target line. Ha! <laughs> Wasn't the purest of strike, but it's down straight down exactly where we're aiming it, weren't we? Okay. Yeah. You wouldn't be. I mean, maybe a little upset on distance, but not upset on you know you, you're not putting yourself in any real danger. No, no, absolutely not. Okay, but that that just comes with practice anyway. Yeah. But it's important that you know the club face is square yeah. to our initial target line. Mm -hmm. So if we take this away completely, if the, right? If the club face isn't right. square, you're not going to return it square. No, absolutely. Yeah. So let's give you a little bit of better grass. Okay. Okay. And what we're going to do here, all right, is we are going to set you nice and square to the red marker. Okay. So can you bring that around for me just to keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Not too much. Perfect. Okay. Right. So your golf ball. Add mm -hmm. address, okay. So you come and do your routine. And I've got an eight iron. So you do your practice swings. Oh, you've got the ASAP glove on. I've got the ASAP glove. Yep. So we like that, don't we? Yep. So I'm gonna. I'm aiming at the red. I'm aiming over the red marker, from behind the ball. Yep. Is that right? Let's move it, haven't I? I'm aiming at the red marker through Foxy. <laughs> Straight through. His me. right ear is the is the okay. Nope. There you go. So what are you doing there then? That's quite a good thing. I like that because um, Justin Rose does that. I like it. So I'm assuming that when they put the shaft in the golf club, that they put a straight shaft in it. Absolutely. The problem is when I'm playing, it doesn't always come across that way. But I like to think that when they put it in there, <laughs> it was straight. So what I do is I like to basically form a direct line between what my aiming point is, Good. and that could be anywhere on the horizon because it basically goes as high as it can, to the golf ball. And then you can very easily pick that blade of grass or that bump or that hopefully not small pebble. So you're, you're touching the object or the, the target and then putting the golf ball on the side of it or through the middle of it. Yeah, so I'm right eye dominant, so it's all staying on the right side of the golf That's ball. That's fine, absolutely. And yeah. then you bring, then you find something in line Yeah, with so it. for okay, me, cool. it's, I don't, it's, it, there's a, there's a piece of yellow grass here amongst the, the yeah. green ones. So you've got to find that obvious point, haven't you? Yeah, you've got okay. to find an obvious point because that is where my club face is going to be as if, you know, there's a line and you can get those magnets to really test this, mm -hmm. but. Yes, because that sets the angle, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, so once you're in that position, right. So I've got there, 
This is my aim point, yep, the, the far end of that bit of yellow grass. Yep, very good. And so I'm gonna step back a little bit now that I know that my face is, is straight, make sure I've got a neutral grip, check my stance, it's gonna be just inside. 60-40 you know, ratio. Yeah. The ball position, yeah? 60 40 mm -hmm. you mean weight on feet or do you mean the ball position in relation to your feet here to here yeah so the, the ratio is 40 percent that way 60 percent that way yeah that would be 50 50. that's it 60 so that would, yeah, would be yeah. 60 40. just slightly yeah. forward to center lovely just left of your privates your bits what do you call them in england tackle tackle yes or female tackle whichever <laughs> um stance ball position are included in that and then i'm checking my alignment my feet are going to be I, when i set up for a draw i know that my left foot's going to be a little bit further in but i'm I, at this point i'm just trying to hit consistent shots i'm not worrying about my draw or my correct feet. absolutely so i'm just going 60 40 trying to keep it straight and to be fair that's what i was very uncomfortable with is saying okay if i'm aiming at the red one my feet are actually going to be to Left of the target. Two grass stripes. If you like it, yeah. To the left. Absolutely. I mean, that's sort of the. But one of the things, if you come back behind and have a look. Yeah. Right, and if you stay where you are, sorry. If I stay where I am. Yeah, you And stay then where, come behind and look at myself. And then the camera side. Oh, okay. Right. So when you're setting yourself up to that golf ball, yeah. now have a look up there and have a look where you're going. Okay, so you generally speaking, when we look, we, don't, we t generally do this, don't we? As we look up, we do that. Okay, yes. great, good. So let's stay there. Looks like what's happened to your shoulders in relation. So stand up and stand up and have a look to the target. That's yeah. it. What's happened to your shoulders? Well, my alignment's changed. Yeah, so your alignment's gone that way. So what most people yeah. do, they, they look up with up their body. Yeah. And then, of course, what they do, they try to shift themselves around yeah. to get themselves at the target. And that's and where absolutely. they sort of get that leftwards. So that's why people yeah. tend to aim their feet at the target and their body at the target. Mm -hmm. All right. But it's easier if you're over it and then look down. Correct. You're looking down the line of the, put uh, the, um, the, the golf of club. The golf club. All yeah. right. You ready, Lawrence? Yeah. Okay. We can see that. Yeah, and I'm I'm working on changing my plane. So. All right. <laughs> so. So, let's put it a slightly different way, uh, Ben. Yes. Okay. To help somebody understand the alignment a little bit better, people do get very confused about why I shouldn't aim my body at the target. Yeah. Okay. If you stand directly behind me now, Ben. Yeah. All right. If I was to hit a putt, for example, and this is rough grass, mm -hmm. I've aimed my ball at the hole yeah yeah okay pretty straightforward yeah very straightforward, and as we yeah. know the putters have the line on them yes and mine, we, yeah mine okay so i've lined my golf ball up to that target. yeah so i know that i would aim my putter straight through that target line to the mm -hmm. hole because that would seem logical to do wouldn't it yeah so therefore i then set myself up with my feet running parallel to the line i've set myself up to. yes so therefore that is a one foot putt yeah so that's I, no different from one foot to six foot to 200 yards. No. Because my target line is that. I'm yes. hitting the object, which is the golf ball, with my golf club, aren't I? Yes. Right. So would I aim my feet at the hole to hit that putt in there? No. I wouldn't, would I? Because where is it going to go? It's, it's going to go to the right. Isn't yeah. it? Do you want to come back and get that one over here? That might be interesting for you to see. OK. So we know that my putter is aiming down there. Why would I aim my feet to hit the ball into the hole? I wouldn't, because if I squared it up to that position, you can see where the ball's missing. So if I execute that, the same with my golf club. Yeah. Which is gonna be 100 yards, 200 yards, 300 yards down my target line. Yeah. As you can see, my club is still aiming at the golf hole. If I stand parallel to that line, you can see my feet aren't actually aiming at that target, is it? Yeah. So if I now ask you, Ben, if you can, pick up that um, blue cone, Okay. Okay. I'm walking a straight line. Straight up there. How far? About 20 yards. It's fine. Keeping a straight line. That's it'll do. That's perfect. That's fine. Okay. A little bit out, isn't he? Just move it across a bit more. That's perfect. There we go. All right. So you can see my target line has now improved to about, what, 10 yards. But my club is still aiming at my target line, isn't it? Yeah, does that make yeah. sense? Yeah, it makes perfect sense, yeah. So it doesn't matter whether it's one foot, two foot, 10 yards, 
200 yards, my club then can continue down through its target line. Yeah? Yeah. So I've set myself up to that golf ball, which is my target point in front of me. I then keep the club moving through. And there we go, straight down the middle. All right? Yeah. And if you aim it correctly, mm -hmm. and like we said just now, if you yeah. aim it correctly or square, you know then you can work on the swing fault that you have. Yeah. As if you aim incorrectly, you don't know what. And that's what I did in that last one. Yeah. Which I think we're there. I apologize for the technical difficulties as I hit the last shot. My apologies. So yeah, I, because I felt so comfortable in my alignment, I thought I'd flatten my plane out a little bit. Okay, good. And instead, I should have just focused on hitting the first golf ball of the day. Yeah, quite. Yeah. Yeah, fill factor, isn't it? Okay. All right then. So another way of looking at it as well. Yeah. When you hit off a driving range mat, mm -hmm. what are you in? You're in a square box. Yeah. Easy to line up, yeah. isn't it? So you stand in that box, you stand behind the mat, you can see where the mat's aiming, you get behind it, mm -hmm. you're nice and square, you commit to your golf shot, which most people do on a driving range. Yeah, they just sort of say straight is good. Because you got 200 yard wide of fairway and yeah. 200 yard that way. Yeah. But when you play on a golf course, you've only got 15 yard of fairway. Yeah. And it's much more narrow. It's, yeah. it's a lot narrower, course, yeah. isn't it? So you know you you just taking that sort of emphasis mm -hmm. onto the golf course that being square is important. Yeah, I mean, as like as an amateur, I think the hardest thing for me to grasp when I first started playing golf was that ev like you know, at at most golf courses, they adjust the the tee boxes yep. so that like you know you know that it's a hundred and thirty five yard par three. Yep. And you know it's dead straight, but they'll aim the tee box off to the left. Slightly. And yeah, and they'll put the things in it, you know, just to mess with your eye line. Yeah. And I think that was one of the hardest things that in the first few years of me playing golf was saying, okay, like I don't, these two logs or spiked objects or golf balls or whatever they are, are you know, that's not what nece necessarily causes, causes a straight line. And then, you know, I should be hitting directly this way across from it. I need to get to it, set up my own line, and aim at the hole. Yeah, you know, you're 100% right. Yeah. Okay, go so on I'm now. going to aim. I'm aiming at the red marker, but I'm really aiming at the, that tallest bit of tree. Yeah, that's fine. Beyond there. S. Get my stance, 60-40. Make sure my alignment is correct. Say, so look down. I Dan. feel like, so I've got my point and I feel like basically I'm aligned. Right, stay there. Don't move from that position. Look that way. Okay. Look at your shoulders now. Yeah. In relation to your shaft below. In relation to my shaft but can can you see where your where your feet are aligned to? Yeah. So therefore when you've already looked up now bring your shoulders back this way. Okay. That's it nice and square. Now you look up the line that doesn't feel so far left, does it? So that's what everybody yeah. does. What I I'm think saying, I've just gotten used to doing yeah, that, but what yeah, I'm saying, yeah. that's, how know what you mean, yeah. that's how people look. They so do this and they when turn, you, yeah. When you set up, you look up this way. Mm -hmm. So it brings your head naturally to the left, doesn't it? Yeah. So if you look down as you would putt look, mm -hmm. you would use your head like a swing board that's outside a shop window, yeah. uh, a shop door. Mm -hmm. So you look, look at my head now. Just let it turn. So it moves through the line of the club like you would yeah. a putt. You don't look up the line of your body. Yeah. All right. Complete the swing, nice and soft. Don't remember, don't do it brashly. Ah, that's better, good. Okay, so I've had that P, patience practice. ASAP. ASAP. Go on, get the tracker on that one then. Hoo-ha! And that's 160 yards exactly down my line. Well, 125 anyway. Shh. Sorry, shh. Sorry, you go, you go. <laughs> I'm doing meters, you're doing yards. Yeah. I just said 160, I didn't say what. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. And, you know, you did get yourself a nice little bit of control there, which is nice. Yeah. Should be ASAP. We focus. like ASAP. <laughs> what does ASAP mean, sir? So you've got aim. Yeah. Right? You've got to set up your aim. Then you've got your stance. Good. Which is also, you know, basically in my stance, a stance and ball position. Alignment. And then the second day is for alignment. Yep. And then you've got... Must be posture. It could be posture. 
Could be posture, practice, or patience. Oh, ASAP, p -p -p -p. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the same is like, it could be aiming and alignment when you start. Then it could be stance and ball situation. There you go. That's a bit, that's a bit, that's, yeah. no, that's too, that's, that's just confusing me. Is that just confusing? Yeah. Hmm. Then you've got alignment. And then you've got, for me, it's mostly patience. Good lad. And that's my fade. That's all right, that's tidy. But that's safe. Okay, good, that was better. Okay, so now you've got your alignment with the club face, okay? Trusting you're looking down the line of the club, not down the line of your shoulders, okay? Just keep your hands shallow through impact, yeah? Keep my hands shallow, so you want, so you want to see my draw, is that what you're saying? Well, I just want to see a nice swing. Okay. Hey, look at that. That's the shot I need to work on more than anything else. Is yeah, but how simple was that? It's really simple. I just, for that's some reason... Foxy fr that's Foxy Friday sessions for you. Yeah. We're nearly there. Well, this is lesson number nine. So, I think we've got a few more before I can go on tour. I think so. Yeah, just a few. So. Leading edge. Not top edge. Not the top edge. Correct. Yep. That is at 90 degrees to your target line. Have you found, when you were aiming, did you find your, the, you know, the point you were aiming for with your face while you were stood behind the ball? Not yet, because I'm gone behind. Oh, that's right, because you, sorry, you have, a, you have a different... Yeah, I was just trying to explain that. Yeah. So basically what we're saying, okay, there's my spot, just in front. Okay, now what I will say, you're not allowed to touch anything on your line of play. That's illegal. That's illegal. That's illegal. Okay. So make sure you know if you point to something, point to it, don't touch it. Okay. Deem to improve your lie. Ooh. Because the, the, the also don't forget that your target line is continuous that way as well as that way. Yeah. So you're not allowed to press anything down over here, unless you're on the tee box, of course. Okay. All right. Now there's, there's actually another tip. Actually, some people um, actually pick their spot behind. Really. Because you're not having to look in front, that's easier to sometimes look behind. So if I'm going behind here, all right, here you go, that's that little bit of dirt there, which is yeah. running parallel to this. Just for me, because I've got that top line in between the two, it's, that's, that's a funny thing. Yeah. That's right, but I'm just saying, but, but you have a continuous line then through the golf ball, don't you? It might yeah. be easier to line yourself up accordingly. Sure. So once that club is in, bottom edge is nice and square. So as you can see, the first thing I'm doing yeah. is aligning my golf ball. Once I know that's on the line, okay, I can then bring it back nice and square, I can then apply my grip. Once that club face is in, grip, club face neutral, grip is neutral. I then apply my ball position and my stance. The older only yells wiggle, get yourself set in for the posture, okay, and then you know you're lined up. And off we go. That's that's a good shot. Pure again, isn't it? Yeah. Softly. Good. Shallow. So in that print, yeah, correct. Keep your hands shallow down. Lovely. That's nice, mate. That's really tidy. Thank you. That's Thank what, you what, what, a, what, a, what a wonderful way to finish Foxy Friday golf session. Yeah, that's Foxy's Friday golf lesson. I hit a two yard fade with an eight iron that I've been trying to hit for the last three weeks. It's brilliant. So Foxy, thank you very much as always. Pleasure. We're here at the Bubby Tracy Golf Center, which next week we may not be. So we're gonna try out some different courses. Um, somebody left a comment saying that we should go play Rangiton. Yeah, okay. So we're, we're, we're still talking about playing other courses, excited to get out to Rangiton at some point this month. Mm -hmm. um, thank you as always, Foxy. Pleasure. Foxy Friday lesson. What do we always say? ASAP. Yeah, hit the buttons. Oh. <laughs> hit the buttons, subscribe, notifications, thumbs up if you liked it. I don't know These where they are. buttons, yeah, we just do that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Subscribe. If you feel like it, check out the podcast. Podcast is coming out twice a week now. We're going to get Foxy on if we're going to start doing them three times a week. Yeah. We have Sweet. brain melting amount of podcasts coming out soon. Um, thank you again for watching. You've been watching The Sweetdom. Give us a thumbs up, smash subscribe, ring the bell for notifications.